Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. I notice I only have three Patreon supporters. I require your donations so that I may buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. The more Patreons that I get, the more materials I will be able to purchase and the more frequently I'll be able to provide videos for you to watch my fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on biology. It's about pollen. What is pollen? You can hardly see it. You can only see it as a powder. It is the gametophyte of trees the evergreens, which are called conifers, and the flowering plants, which are called uh, angiosperms. The pine trees are called gymnosperms. Let's get to the demonstration. This is a diagram of one single pollen particle. Notice how intricate it is, how many different regions there are to this pollen. Pollen, a microscopic fine to coarse powdery substance, is created by seed plants as part of their reproductive process. Even though it is very small, it is multicellular and consists of many structures. It can appear from trees in the spring, grasses in the summer, and weeds in the fall. Pollen is made up of very small sperm cells called gametophytes. Pollen has a hard coat that protects the sperm cells during the process of their travel from the stamen to the pistil of the flowering plants called angiosperms or from the male cone to the female cone of conifers which are called gymnosperms. Germination occurs when pollen lands on the pistil of female cones, making a pollen tube that transports the sperm to the ovule, which contains the female gametophyte. In cross-pollinization, pollen in plants is used for transferring haploid male genetic material from the anther to a single flower to the stigma of another flower. Haploid refers to half the number of chromosomes in the DNA. If a mature plant is diploid or having the full set of chromosomes in its DNA. A stigma is the part of the pistil where pollen germinates. A stamen is the male fertilizing organ of a flower which consists of a pollen containing anther held up by a stalk called a filament. A pistil is the female organ of a flower. Germination is the formation of a plant from the spore or seed after a period of dormancy. Pollen is a gametophyte, not a male gamete, and could be considered a whole organism which then forms the male gamete. Each pollen gametophyte contains non-reproductive cells or vegetative cells and a reproductive cell called a generative cell. In flowering plants, the vegetative tube cell produces the pollen tube and the, and the generative cell divides to form the two sperm nuclei. A nucleus is the DNA containing part of a cell. DNA is the molecule that codes for what the male or female plant will look like and the rest of its traits. You probably remember from biology in high school 
Gregor Mendel was the priest, I believe in the 1960s, I mean 1600s, that cross-pollinated plants and observed their uh, physical traits. Pollen is small, ranging in size from 100 micrometers all the way down to 2.5 micrometers and comes in all shapes and surface features. For example, here we see a picture of the different types of pollen and their surface features. Pollen is made in the mega in the microsporangia in the middle cone, in the male cone of an evergreen tree or in the anther of a flowering plant. Notice with the photograph of pollen that some of the pollen has coarse surfaces and some have smooth. For example, this has a coarse surface, this has a coarse surface, and this has a smooth surface. When you develop allergies during the spring, summer, and fall times, it is the coarse surface pollen that causes the aggravation of your nasal passageways that causes your allergies. And you need to take diphenhydramine hydrochloride, which is Benadryl, in order to alleviate your allergies. Let's take a look at what pollen looks like under the microscope. And here we see it, under 100 times or low magnification. Let's increase our magnification to high magnification power at 430 times. And here we see an individual micrometer in size pollen. And like the photograph uh, and, and the image, notice all of its intricate structures. And again, under 100 times low power. Next, I will display some types of pollen. Here we see pollen of lily, lily pollen, pollen from the lily flower, and under high power magnification, smaller than even the one preceding it. Notice we don't see the stalks very visible in this image.
Here we see pollen of sunflower. And under high power, 430 times magnification. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, if you want to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, you only have to do one thing, and that is to keep looking down.